couple of weeks ago, I auditioned for the NYO, which is the National Youth Orchestra, as a pianist. And I just got the results back today, which tells me if I'm in the orchestra or not. And I made it in. So you guys will be the first ones to know that I was in, I've been accepted into NYO. Yeah, my family does know. My brother was, like he was, he was so, he was, seemed more excited than I was at the beginning. As he was, he just ran up to me and he was just like, well done, you've gone into the orchestra. You feeling happy? <laughs> I can't, I can't imitate my brother really well. His voice is so much higher than mine, but he was just like, happy with see? Happy? I was like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's great. And he was just like, yeah, it's really great. Well done. Um, so yeah, that was, that was really sweet. I, I didn't get that obviously, cause I wasn't recording when I was looking through the email, but, um, but yeah, so apart from them, no one else knows yet. I'll, I'll be honest, when I got the news at first, I was like, I didn't know how to react. So I kind of just stood there and went, oh, okay. But then it's, it took me a, took a while for it to sink in. And, but when it did, I was like, I'm actually been selected to play with NYO as a pianist in the orchestra and I was like wow this is this is exciting this is new for me this, this is really cool because in the email it said over 700 people auditioned for the place that I was trying to get which is a lot more than I thought and uh, I realized wow this is actually this is actually really cool I know it's a bit surprising because you may be thinking that piano isn't part of an orchestra really but actually they do have a piano section so they have three seasons and I will be in one of them so it's going to be it's really exciting I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I play concertos quite a lot of concertos but I'm the soloist and playing as part of an orchestra is going to be a very new experience for me because I've only done it sparingly in the past so um there's a lot of stuff which is going to be very new to me and that's, I think, what's going to make it really interesting and that's what I'm looking forward to the most. To see what it's like to be playing in an orchestra with that many people because I've worked with like a couple of people before, both piano players and different players, but this orchestra is like quite big. It's going to be quite a lot of people, so it's going to be a very different experience. Um, I made a video about my audition, I think, some time back, and I think I'm gonna put it on YouTube. But I didn't put it straight away because I wasn't sure whether I was gonna get in or not. And um, I wanted to do it with a video of how I was reacting to the results as well. So I am gonna probably put that out there now. I couldn't obviously record the actual audition, but I recorded myself heading to it, explaining what it was about, um, explaining what I thought about it, and uh, me leaving how I thought I did, because they're, they're really good at like hiding what they think, because when I was in the audition, they have what they call like a, a poker face, I guess, where you know when you the game poker, like the card game, and you kind of have to hide what cards you have so you have to even do it with your face so you keep it quite neutral so you can't tell so it's just like so it was really hard to tell if they were actually liking it or not and i was thinking it's very different and i couldn't quite read them so i was a bit i was unsure i thought ah oh, it's probably not it's probably not gonna happen um but it did so i'm yeah, I'm very happy about that, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot. So I will put that video out there about how I reacted to the whole audition process and that day in general. So yeah, look out for that one. Yeah, so that was the news for me today, and I'm uh, very, really looking forward to it, and I can't wait to see where it's going to go. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going to audition for the NYO. The NYO, for those of you who don't know, is basically stands for the National Youth Orchestra. And 
I know what some of you may be thinking. It would be like, how can you go to audition for the NYO? Because you're a pianist and it's an orchestra. And that was,、uh, yeah, I know, I know that's confusing. But they actually do have a piano section. And、um, so that's what I'll be auditioning for. Apparently, there's only like two places though. So I don't know how likely it will be that I get in, but we'll see. So, yeah. There's, n- there's not many spaces, but I thought, why not try it? Because as a solo piano player, we don't like play much with others. And even when we do, for example, when we do concertos, we're still the soloist. It's very rare that we're doing something with an orchestra where we're part of it. At least in my experience, I haven't really experienced that much. I mean, some people say that. Rhapsody in Blue isn't really a concerto, so if that's true, then that would probably be one of the pieces I've done as part of an orchestra. But、uh, apart from that, I think I've always been the soloist, and I have done chamber music and stuff in school, as it's a requirement in my school. But I had not played as part of an orchestra, so I thought, why not give it a go and see what it's like?、Um, so、I'm, that's why I'm going for the auditions. Um, I don't really know what to expect. I know there's something like four stages to the audition. So, one stage is where I have to play, I have to play a, like one of my a piece, a solo piece. So, I just prepared the、uh, Ocean Etude by Chopin because the time limit's actually really small. I think it's about like three minutes maximum. <laughs> so, all my other pieces are way too big. So, I thought the best piece. Could, would probably be a s h o p i n e t t e because they're you know, technically demanding and they also have a musical quality to them. So that's the piece I'm going to be playing. Apart from that, I only know that there's like this thing, these orchestral excerpts, which I have to play, but I don't know if I'm playing them with others, if I'm playing it with a CD track. I hope I'm playing it with something else because there's like huge gaps where I just have to wait. I don't actually have the score with me at the moment. Yeah, it's in my piano room. I, maybe I'll show it later, but there's like, I think, like the, there's somewhere in the middle, there's like 20 bars where I'm doing nothing. <laughs> And so, yeah, there should be other people there to play it because otherwise, otherwise I'm just going to have to sit there. And just count while they, I guess, watch me count, which that's just a bit weird. But that's basically what I know. Apart from that, there's an interview.、Um, again, I'm not 100% so- sure what the questions are. They sent this extremely long you know, like, list of questions through an email, which we had to answer.、Uh, sorry, I'm just. Having my breakfast at the same time. But they,、um, they sent it to us and we had to answer a long like, list of questions. So it may probably be around that. And、um, the last round really was unclear for me. So I'm really not sure what they're going to ask me to do because it's like it almost sounded like they were going to give me some sight reading and say play it with these other players, like sight read with other players. And、uh, If that happens, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Because I think I can sight read the piece. It's just I don't know how it would be if I had to play it with other people. Because I don't know. I'd have to like, do it on the spot with other people, which means we'd have to quickly decide on, I guess, all those little details like tempo, rubato, this rubato, the, like, the layering of the voices. I don't know. But,、um, so that's the round which I'm most unsure of. Apart from that, I think I'm playing at this place called Pembley's Pianos, which is basically a piano studio.、Um, I forget where it is. I just know that King's Cross is supposed to be a close station, but apparently I'm not going there because if I go to that station, I have to walk about 15 minutes to get to the studio. So I just decided instead to go to this other station, which I haven't heard of before and I can't remember the name. And、uh, then I walk 10 minutes from there. That's gonna be, I think, my morning pretty much, because it's, it's, it's good. I'm looking forward to it. I just don't completely know what to expect. So I guess I'll see. I will be recording as much as I can. I most likely won't be allowed to record the actual audition. <laughs> 
also apparently there's a part two to these auditions so i don't know i may have to do like a second part if i get through the first one but yeah i'm really looking forward to it and um interested to see where this goes so we're about to leave for the audition oh i had to look and hunt for my oyster card i don't know whether you guys have this problem but you keep your oyster card in a safe place and you're just like okay i know it's here I'm gonna, the next time I need it, I'm gonna come, it's gonna be right here, it's gonna be here, I'm gonna have it. But then, when it actually comes to you needing the oyster card, you go, you look into your safe place and it's not there! And you're just like, where the hell is it? And then you tear apart the whole house looking for it, you look in the most ridiculous places, you look behind cushions, you look inside cabinets which aren't related to cards at all, you look everywhere and then finally, you go back to the same place you looked in the first place, you lift up a leaflet, and it's right there. So we were having a bit of a problem trying to find out where to go. I think we know where to go now. I don't know what it is with these like piano studios, they're actually never close to the station. They always make you walk at least 10 to 15 minutes till you actually get there. Which is fine if you know where it is, but when you don't know where it is, you end up like going back in circles. We crossed the same pret a shop like three times, but I think we're headed in the right direction now. But I, I don't know. I don't know whether they're trying to get you to warm up before you get there. I don't, I don't understand. So we've arrived at the studio. This is my warm up room. I don't know what it is with the phone maps. I don't think they actually work. I mean, you're heading in one direction and it shows like you're heading in the opposite. So obviously you change and think, okay, must have just been a mistake. And then you go in this direction and you're still going in the opposite. We went in all four directions. I was like, how is this even possible? We're still going in the opposite. But anyway, we're, we're here now. So I've got about 15 minutes. So I best get to the warming up and then it'll be the audition time. Very hidden on this street, actually. I just finished my audition. The audition was very different from what I expected. It, was, it wasn't like what any other audition I've been to. So basically what they did is they had me play my solo piece, which was fine. I was ready for that. Then they did the orchestral excerpts. So they picked certain sections and they asked me to play it. Um, so I didn't actually play all of the excerpts and then after that they gave me some sight reading So they gave me a Mozart concerto. It's a uh, the, the popular one the, the one that goes like So I recognized the sound and That was actually quite fun to play and then afterwards I Had the interview where they asked me why NYO interested me my experience playing with others. They asked me about Purcell um, so I, so it was like a good a conversation just about the experiences I've had with orchestras mainly. So I told them about the concertos I've done, about the chamber music I've done and where I played with others. I think my audition went quite well. They, it kept me on my toes quite a bit because I wasn't sure what was going to happen next. But I did enjoy it and I hope I get selected. On the way back in King's Cross Station now, I think, I'll ju I think I'm just gonna walk through the audition a bit. I think I did actually pretty well. When I first came out, I was a little bit doubtful, but when I actually think about it, I think it went okay. Because the first was just the solo piece, which, I, which I, I'm like very confident with. Because I've been, I played it like quite a long time ago, so it's a really old piece. And then the second part was the excerpts. So I just had to play what they said, which I did. So I don't think anything really went wrong with that. They asked me to see if I could change certain things and they seemed to ask about if I knew where, where in the orchestral part it was. So I told them because I actually did listen to all of it. And um, 
that that was the orchestra excerpt part. And then after that, they had the sight reading. So the sight reading, they made me do a Mozart concerto. Um, I actually recognized the concerto, but I haven't played it. I did ask them if I could try to play some of the parts before I started. And they just said, no. No, you can't. So I just had to kind of open it and start playing. And I played about a page. And then after the sight reading, they, where they asked me to come and sit by the table. And then they started asking me questions. So because I go to the Purcell School, they tried to ask how that was. So I talked a bit about how I'd been there for four years. I, it gave me the opportunity to play with others because they are interested in like what I've done with other musicians. So I told them about the chamber groups, about the concertos, and about how I've played like in other countries a bit as well, like in Germany where I played with an orchestra. I actually played the Rhapsody in Blue there. It was a lot of fun. And they asked me like what I like to listen to, especially orchestra wise. So there's a lot of questions like that. And I told them about everything I listened to and how I like to know and learn about the piece before I before I um, like watch it. So I told them about how I knew with Stravinsky that Petruska led to Firebird, which led to Rite of Spring, and they were interested in that actually. So I talked a bit about that and then afterwards the interview was just finished and then they just said, we'll let you know in two weeks. So I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, sorry. I thought this was the tray. It's actually the next tray. So if you liked the video, be sure to subscribe, like, share it with some friends. And if you have any opinions, be sure to drop a comment as well. And if you didn't like it, then subscribe anyway, because it's free. I mean, who cares, right?